Okay. We'll be improvising most probably as the show cover goes on at these flick points looking for uh, ways of stitching patterns and backings to hold this stable that allows the eye to not see through into the into the um, uh, steel um, uh, mechanism uh, that keeps dirt and debris out but does not bind the um, joint as it moves and um, I think that that's uh, Oh, there's one other thing. Let's focus focus first on on this board because everything else is covered up. The springs were lashed to the board using a um, a hand driven staple. They're they're um, fairly long. They're about a half inch long and they're driven in with with a um, with a a, um, a hammer actually it's, a, it's I don't know what to call it it's it's a <laughs> it's a hammer gun <laughs> we'll take a look at that in, in one of the other segments and it is it is driven in there's a piece of canvas beneath it to protect the uh, board from flex with the um, spring against it and then there's another piece of canvas that is doubled over and slipped I can't see that you can you'll see it in the field in just a moment doubled over and slipped it's a soft thick 17 ounce canvas that slipped in between Let's see if I can get it through here where you can actually see this happen My fingers become very strong and flexible when you do a pull straight. It's pulled through and it's tacked to the board. In this case, we'll be using an air stapler to staple it down rather than, than um, the possibility of causing damage to the structural board by hammering onto it. Uh, but we will staple on either side. And what does that do? And what it does is that as the spring flexes, it keeps the metal from hitting, the steel from hitting the bottom and making a plopping or a grinding sound. So is this similar to what I've seen with um, cotton in the East Lake yes. cones, for Some instance? Yes. Some upholsters um, have choose to stick cotton batting underneath. Mm -hmm. I've, I've also done that from time to time. But I didn't want to use cotton batting because this is a, a mattress and there's a great deal of dust that filters its way through over mm -hmm. a period of a century. This, this particular piece will last a century, the buildup. And so when you look at the original photographs where there was a ton of buildup of dust, I did not want to add to that thickness by sticking cotton batting in it. And eventually it would just kind of build up and create this platform and not allow the springs to flex. Okay. Okay. 